This Burger King toy is literally a mystery. This isn't clickbait. I, for the longest time, was confused about this because nobody seems to know what this is online. What started this whole mystery was I was trying to Google Lens this for a Nostalgia Block article. I wanted to share with users how they can find Nostalgia online using various methods. And using the Google Lens method, I wasn't able to find this. And trying to use other image sort of tools to reverse image search, we weren't able to actually find anything. Now my, my good nostalgic friend on the Discord server, Zappy Pappy, found only one other image, which I'll show up on the screen right now, uh, of this. We didn't find any information about it. And on the bottom of this, it's not even stamped with a date. Upon further looking and looking, we were able to find other listings, as you can see right here. These were the other two figures that we were able to find. Now what I didn't realize was that there were other toys that were a part of this as well. For example, this is a case that I repurposed to put my Lego guns, the brick arms. That's why it says brick arms on it in very horribly drawn letters. And the listing came with other tins. I actually bought a scanner recently, and this is a perfect example of some of the things that I'm trying to do to help with preservation. Now, something as simple as this little sleeve from Burger King that has the toys is a perfect thing to scan in and put on the internet to preserve. What this project taught me about the Burger King mystery toys is that there's actually not a lot of information out there preserved well on the internet in the year 2024. On the Burger King fandom wiki, there is actually literally nothing about these toys. So what's weird about this toy line is that it came out in 2008 and 2008 already had a bunch of heavy hitter promotional collabs that came out. We had the Wii themed items that came out as well as a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl collaboration that came out with the trading cards. We also had an Indiana Jones. We also had Neopets that was pr previously from McDonald's also make a sort of its debut on the Burger King side. There were tons and tons of good toys that came out for the Burger King line that year. So the Wiki fandom does not cover this and so we really had to buy these to figure out, okay, who made them, who designed them. And comically on the back of this, it just says Birking Brands Inc. That's not really much to go off of. What I was really hoping to find was maybe some sort of artist that they collabed with or a kind of a graphic design studio. Nothing. There was nothing that we found online other than Burger King. What I think happened was Burger King had a collaboration with a movie or a video game or some sort of brand and it fell through. So they had to use an in-house concept for the toy line to fit the next slot for when another collaboration was coming down the line. What I didn't realize is McDonald's, Burger King, pretty much every fast food restaurant will actually plan the toy lines that they'll come out for the kids meals way in advance. Everything is pre-planned. So for something to, to not fall through, they probably need something like this to plan for the worst. So the placeholder concept would make sense until we run into this. Now these are mystery bunnies that follow the same sort of schematic as the mystery toys. And what's strange about these is they're like blind boxes from 2008, same time period. And these were stuff that you could buy, very similar to the gold cards from the Pokemon collaboration around the 2000s. So when you went to Burger King, you could ask the Burger King employee that you would like to buy one of these blind box bunnies. So check this out. These are the premium six figures that you could have bought separately. Now the sad thing was that these were blind boxes, so you could have bought six and they may have not all been different. You could have asked an employee and they could have been nice enough to open them because they didn't have cellophane wrap around them. But look at this. We have this mime guy right here who's actually an upside down bunny turned backwards to use as the design. That's what I love about this. It uses the the bunny's tail as the nose for the sort of mime guy. And they, they all just use a question. And I think that's kind of the funny thing about these. What are these figures? Why are these necessary? And who designed them? And speaking of design, we have 18 toys that are in three categories. We have a vinyl toy selection, we have a plush selection, and then we have a tin selection. And what's great about these is they're all the same shape, but they have different designs. These are very uniquely done, which makes them highly collectible. And for something that doesn't even have a brand attached to it, it's still something that 
you would want to collect because they look actually really good. The thing that I hope that gets addressed going forward is I want to know who created these. And if you have images to the other figures, the other fast food toys, please email me because I want to try and fill out that document and make a comprehensive guide to the whole toy line. NostalgiaBlock.com was a project that I didn't even think needed to be greenlit in the first place. It's about archiving the 2000s. I already thought this was something that was taken care of by the bigger YouTube channels, and no, it is not. So send me the photos if you have them. I'd love to document them and give credit to those who provide them. I make this crazy content about Burger King fast food toys that are mysterious because nostalgia is important to me, and things like these help you get closer to deeper inner memories that are lost to time. And so if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.